Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Bahrain Defense Force General Command today. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagir Al Naimi and Commander of the Royal Guards Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officers. His Majesty praised the role of the officers, their patriotic stances, and dedication to preserve the kingdom's security and its achievements in addition to its national unity. He expressed confidence in BDF officers in their ability to perform their national duties duty, voicing pride in their commitment. His Majesty the King also commended the future plans to develop the BDF by providing it with the latest military systems to elevate the skills of its staff, appreciating their achievements through external and internal courses. He directed to enhance joint military cooperation and coordination among Gulf Cooperation Council countries and friendly and brotherly countries to serve the best interests of the region's countries and people. He asserted that Bahrain supports its brotherly and friendly countries in many noble humanitarian operations. His Majesty the King confirmed that Bahrain will always remain an oasis of security and peace with its one family spirit, wishing all BDF staff continued success in performing their honorable duties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of royal family members and state officials. His Royal Highness commended the spirit of friendship among the people of Bahrain, which reinforces the kingdom's stability, highlighting the importance of enhancing such unity to further achieve more accomplishments under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. The Prime Minister highlighted that Bahrain will always be strong in the face of all threats thanks to the le its leadership and people stressing that the kingdom will not be affected by regional dangers. He confirmed that national unity has always been and will remain the key to the security of the society from any attempts that aim to harm its social fabric.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks and appreciation from the Japanese Emperor Akihito for his condolences on the victims of the earthquake that hit Kyosho Island as southwest of Japan and for his noble sentiments that reflected the deep-rooted relations linking the two countries. Also in the letter, Japan renewed its invitation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to visit the country. His Royal Highness was presented the letter by Japan's ambassador to Bahrain, Kiyoshi Asako, during a meeting today. The meeting reviewed bilateral relations during which His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed Bahrain's interest to enhance joint cooperation in the various fields. He expressed satisfaction of the level of joint coordination based on mutual respect and keenness to enhance the two countries' interests. His Royal Highness lauded the development of economic and political ties and also reviewed with the Japanese ambassador regional and international developments. For his part, Ambassador Asako confirmed his country's government's admiration on the achievements that has been made by Bahrain's government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which has turned the kingdom into a pioneer in many fields. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development announced that the percentage of the facilities committed to banning work exposed to the sun reached 99% in July. The ministry said that the banning decision comes between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. in July and August. It conducted 6,481 visits to inspect sections or sectors involved in the banning decision and recorded that most of the facilities committed to the decision and that there were only 64 violations and legal procedures will be taken regarding those violations. Under Secretary for Work Affairs of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Dr. Mohammed Al Ansari, said that this percentage reflects the commitment to the positive implementation of the decision and the importance of providing a secure and safe working environment in addition to taking into account the human rights aspects and safety of workers in order to improve productivity. Here is Danielle Deporto with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. Very good evening. Welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,161.8 points. That's an increase of 0.41 points above yesterday's closing level. While trading increased in the investment and insurance sectors, investors traded mainly in commercial banking shares at 46% of total share value traded. Today, there were 49 transactions comprising 2,285,979 shares worth 359,752 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 